Hey hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is sunny savita and i'm back with another exciting video so guys i'm going to introduce one end to end course on top of the lang graph yes so first of all let me show you the complete curriculum of this course uh, because it was the uh, like very demanding topic from all of you and i was getting lots of requests after uploading the lang chain video so uh, first of all uh, let uh, let me show you my youtube channel and let me show you that what all video i have uploaded so far so guys once you will go and check with my youtube channel so here you will find out the video related to the lang chain uh, not lang chain basically i have so many things so first uh, if you will go with the uh, playlist itself so inside the playlist i have created uh, two playlists on top of the rag one uh, with respect to the basic and one regarding the advanced rag apart from this one you will find out many more video right uh, on top of the rag okay each and every framework i try to cover and recently guys i uploaded a video with respect to the memory that how you can sustain the memory when you are going to create a assistant yes now apart from this one guys you will find out a video on top of the lang chain okay you will find out the video on top of the lcel uh, that is lang chain expression language and many more so please visit the channel and you will find out very amazing video and content which will help you to learn and understand this generative ai stuff so guys uh here i am back with another exciting course as i told you so first of all let me introduce the complete syllabus of this particular course that what all thing i am going to discuss uh within uh like next uh, 10 to 15 video yes 10 to 15 video right so uh first guys i'll be starting with a simple assistant right what is a simple assistant uh then i will let you know the rag a chaining with lcl then we'll try to understand about the tools and agent and uh then we'll come back to the uh, tools and agent and we'll try to build it using python so i will try to create a agents and tool from scratch using the python script then i'll be using the langchain classes and Uh, guys this thing actually it is very much important if you want to understand the concept of the lang graph yes so uh why this is important if you don't know about the uh like uh, lcl right if you don't know about the chaining you won't be able to understand about the lang graph like why they have introduced the lang graph if you are not familiar with the agents right what all type of agents we have what all type of tools we have okay now how they have coded the agent what is a react agent self ask agent and the different different agentic pattern if you are not aware about those thing you won't be able to understand the lang graph so guys before starting with the lang graph we should have good command on top of this topic and mainly i would say mainly this agent topic so i will try to cover this thing in a very very detailed way so you will get to know about so you will get to know each and everything about these particular thing and definitely it will help you to understand the lang graph concept now guys once i will uh, like cover up this uh, like basic stuff right uh, then i will come to the lang graph so here inside the lang graph guys uh, first i will discuss about the graph why there is a graph structure what is the requirement of the graph structure uh, what is a cyclic graph a cyclic graph and whenever we are creating a graph using this lang graph so which kind of graph we are creating whether it's a cyclic or a cyclic right then i will uh, let you know about the lang graph like bit more theoretical point i create a complete slide for all of you then i will come to the practical implementation we'll create a lang graph using python from scratch right uh, i i'm going to write a python script and then i will use the inbuilt classes as well different different inbuilt classes from the uh, lang graph itself we'll try to understand the uh, many more terminology okay which was introduced by the lang graph like graph state nodes edges visualization streaming checkpoint breakpoint configuration memory etc now guys once we are done with this basic stuff of the lang graph i will come to the advanced part of it so let me tell you the advanced part of this lang graph so here using the lang graph we'll try to create our own custom chatbot okay then we'll come to the agentic pattern common agentic pattern like structure output human in loop react and all right whatever agentic pattern is there we'll try to understand those in a very detailed manner and we'll try to code as well so that whenever you are going to implement inside your project so you won't face any sort of a difficulty and uh, that thing for sure i will keep in my mind 
Now, guys, I will come to this multi agent system. It is very much important. We'll try to discuss each and everything with respect to this multi agentic system. Then we'll try to create a different, different kind of rag. Okay. Different, different kind of rag means what? Like uh, C rag, C rag means what? Corrective rag. Then A rag, agentic rag, self rag, right? And all the rag basically we are going to create using the lang graph then we'll create some real world project as well okay so this is a complete introduction of the syllabus guys i hope it is clear and i hope you are pretty much excited to cover up this particular syllabus and soon you will find out the other different different videos so guys uh, from couple of days actually i couldn't upload the video see if you will go and check with my last video i uploaded 11 days back okay 12 days back so don't worry uh, i will try to uh, keep myself little more consistent on my youtube channel and definitely i will try to upload a video now here guys you will find out that i already created a refined slide for all of you see what is assistant what is a rag right rag uh, diagram chaining uh, then here you can see agent then uh, you'll find out the tools right or uh, means the different different uh, like a graph and the images of the agents so that you can understand every kind of agents then tools is there okay then here you can see the difference between the rag agents and the simple assistant and from here guys see uh, the type of the agent what all type of agents we have then benefit of the agent and uh, then basically uh, after this one the lang graph will start every kind of slide i have created for you and this is this is only for you guys so soon we'll try to discuss each and every part of it and i hope you are also excited now first of all what i will do uh what i will suggest to you please try to make a setup along with me okay before uh coming to the next uh, we, uh like uh, before coming uh into the next before watching to the next video so that you will be uh, up and ready for implementing the project so what you have to do guys uh, let me tell you that first of all you need to open your cmd uh, now after opening your cmd uh, here you need to create a directory now a uh, directory is going to be let's say here i am writing lang graph okay lang g r a p h lang graph and two and then uh, after this one guys what you have to do see so lang graph end to end then uh, change into the directory okay lang graph and to and then guys launch a vs vs code from here itself so please make sure that you should have vs code if you don't have guys you can check with my uh, uh you can check with my uh, like uh, project setup video i already uh, discussed those stuff those things so once you will go with and check with my youtube channel so here you will find out that video let me show you that this particular video how to do the complete automated setup inside the vs code now uh, after opening a vs code what you have to do you have to create an environment okay uh, now let me create an environment for all of you here is the environment please open your terminal after opening your terminal you can open uh, your cmd either you can open your cmd or git bash okay so you can create a virtual environment using python or conda anything is fine i am using conda because i have conda in my system if you don't have it uh, if you cannot use it so don't worry uh, you can create a uh, like a virtual environment using the python itself so i am selecting a python interpreter so here i am selecting the base interpreter as, as of now so from the base interpreter itself i will be creating my environment so source activate activate base now uh, guys here what i can do i can uh, clear it okay so now i can write conda create so here conda create c r e a t e conda create v e n b conda create uh, v e n b then python is equal to 3.10 okay conda create hyphen p hyphen p means what uh, the present directory okay so python 3.10 use python 3.10 now uh, inside this present directory the environment will be created so uh, see guys here my environment is created now once i will press yes so i got my environment now i can download everything inside my environment itself okay uh every sort of a thing so whatever library and all is required so first of all i will create my requirement.txt requirement r e q u i r e m e n t s dot t x t okay now i will keep my all the library inside my requirement.txt so that uh, those things i will let you in my next session and then guys we required the different different kind of notebook right so i will let you know like what all uh, notebook is there what all notebook is required 
and uh, uh, basically how to write a code from scratch and all everything we are going to discuss here inside the video so soon uh, i'll be uh, soon you will get a next video until uh, stay tuned with the channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe the channel if uh, guys you are not following the video uh, like for your generative ai stuff starting follow the video for your generative ai stuff i uploaded each and every kind of video is uh, like so far whatever is there with respect to the rag and all and soon i'll be coming up with more exciting stuff for all of you guys so yeah uh this is done uh this is it from my side uh now i will uh meet you in the next video until thank you bye bye take care guys